Welcome back, family, to Revenge of Remember Me. Yes! So glad that we're getting this back up. And it looks like we're going to have a little bit more fun with this because we're making it available for YouTube and bonus selections for our Patreon members. Ah. Yes! Yeah! So, question is, what is a Remember Me? Okay, so if you've watched the channel enough and you saw the prior videos, you already know. But if you're new or if you just didn't watch those videos, then... Go back and watch them 20 times. Exactly. Huh. Each. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever hot comic books, a trailer drops and a book shoots up, everybody says, this is the wrong time to buy it, this is the wrong time to buy it. But nobody ever reminds you when it's the right time to buy it. When those values have come back down, it's off everybody's radar, and the comic book itself is jumping around going, hey, remember me? Buy me! <laughs> this is those times. So Greg and I have each picked two books without talking to each other, so we may have the same picks, we might not. And a bonus pick for Patreon only. Yes. So, would you like to go first, or would you like me to go first? <clears throat> uh, you go first. You kick it off. Okay. So, I have to share my screen. Oh, you know what? Hey, before we even get into this, real quick, uh, if you did not watch the new Comic Book Day video that, that came out Wednesday night, Thursday morning, whichever, I'm not sure, um, Wait, I had not gotten my books at the comic book store, but I promised that I would disclose the books that would be the giveaway this week. So, we have the, the, the two books from Scout Comics. We have Junior, number one, and Something is Killing the Children, number 27, cover B, foil. And I don't know if, how well I could show this at all. It actually has foil on the cover in where her blades are, swords, yeah. machetes, yeah, blades, whichever. And I can't show this enough to let you know how cool this looks in person. This is like one of those ones you walk by like, oh, my God, I got to have that cover. Well, if you got to have this cover, nice and simple, go back after watching this video. Go back <laughs> to the new Comic Book Day video from yesterday, Wednesday, the 21st. Yep. Make sure that you watch it. Be nice. Make sure you're a subscriber. Click like and then drop a comment. Keep it clean. Keep it comics. That will have you entered into the drawing next Wednesday. When we do a new comic book day, we will pick a winner. Please, uh, I, it is eligible to residents of North America. Okay, when we do big giveaways, we'll make it worldwide. But when we do smaller giveaways, it really doesn't make sense to spend thirty dollars in shipping to send the ten, you know, ten dollars worth of comics. Sorry. <laughs> okay, on with the show. <laughs> So, for my first Remember Me pick, I'm going to share my screen. You're seeing it now, says Mr. Greg? Yep, I'm seeing it, and now everybody else is, too. Cool. I picked Moon Knight number one from 1980. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's... Uh... Yes, I was telling him, I'm like, dude, you're going to freak when you see my first pick, because he actually just got a Bill Sankowitz autographed Moon Knight number one in the mail today. <laughs> Oh, what are the chances? Now, the reason I say I I still think that uh, the 9.8s are not the greatest uh, investment. But if you look at the 9.6s, you think about where the prices were uh, when they announced the Moon Knight series, when um, the trailers came out and everything else. We were dealing with 350, 373, just ridiculous 336 even a low price of 217 189 was was back in is was this year April you go back for, uh, prior to that 449 355 wow. 341 these were very high prices for a 9.6 but if you look at the most recent sales 112 oh 111 my God. 149 125 124 10999 okay so a lot of the prices have dropped in comic books and yeah, I know everybody's budget is kind of tight right now, but I think that this, if you've got the, the funds, this is a great book because we know we're getting a Moon Knight season two. This is not the first appearance of Moon Knight, but it is the first appearance of Bushmaster and Khonshu. And I think when he hits in with this developing group of characters that the MCU is going to, is developing, you know, the, um, it's not, it's, I don't know if it's the Midnight Suns, but along those lines, a supernatural group of superheroes. Yes. Moon Knight should be in that, and um, these books are going to spike again. You know, especially around April, that's when people start getting their income tax returns, and prices generally every year go up, back up a little bit. But it's a great time to snag a nine point six Moon Knight number one, and you're going to be looking for the uh, what do you call it, the the standard cover, 
Uh, well, you could get the new stand if you want, but if you just get the standard cover, that's going to be fine. So that's my first pick. Wow. Just so, so you so know, start, we're not, we're not lying. I, I literally just showed this to Richard. Yeah, and I started to laugh. Before. <laughs> I got this for $60, and it's, it's signed by Sankiewicz. So, yeah, that, that that tracks with, wow, 109 Yeah, for a 9.6. Jeez. And that's, like you said, it's not the first appearance, but it is the first ongoing series. So Yes. Hard to beat that, man. Um, all right. And, and it's a great cover, too. You know? Yeah, it's, again, I was saying before, like, it's weird holding it in my hand because it's so iconic. I've seen it so much in the past year, so. Well, I mean, a nine point six is literally a greater on a ba- on a bad day as opposed to a good day from being a nine point eight. <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah. My pick is <laughs> Department of Truth, number one. Um, when I first started getting into comics, uh, this was still pretty hot. Uh, but eventually I was able to find one for, I want to say it was like $80 for a 9.8. Okay. But look at this. $55 is the most common. Most common. Wow. 20 raw. I mean, of course, there's hundreds of variants, whatever, a varying. Right. But your cover A is always the one that, there's cover A on this and the Oswald, I think is the one in 10, which was down, all the way in the bottom row on the left, right there. Oh, it was the secret variant. Secret variant. Okay. And, you know, they have this cool... Uh, Department of six. Truth, which is the... Yep. Something is Killing the Children. Um, homage. So it is, It is. you know, also, same writer, James Tinian, the fourth, mm-hmm. fifth, third, whatever. But, yeah, last sales, $52. $52. Uh, I mean, like six days ago for a 9.8 Department of Truth. And it is... Nope. Here, here's, here's what's important about it. It, um, as of November 2020, there's a high dollar bidding war that ended in an ultra relevant conspiracy theory series that is attracting A level talent for a movie. A level, and as of February of the tw- 2021, there's a confirmation of a report that it has been optioned and secured by Elizabeth Murdoch in a competitive bidding war. So nice. It. I ha- I have a nine eight in the regular and in the secret variants and. They're not going anywhere. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah. It's also a, a cool cover. Uh, it's kind of unique. So, yeah. I, I don't think you can go wrong with a heavily, like, there's a lot of optioned indies, yes, but those rumors are heavy-handed in that there was a bidding you know, war and all that. What's funny is if you look at the most common raw on the screen, it says $27. A fifty-five for a nine-point-eight slapped. If you get a twenty-seven dollar book, it's going to cost you more than twenty-eight dollars to ship it, get it graded, and come back and hope you get a nine-point-eight. Yeah, you might so, as well so, get the guarantee. Yeah, exactly. I mean, if you happen to find one in the wild that's five bucks, which I doubt, uh, and it happens to be a guaranteed nine-point-eight, go for it. But other than that, forty bucks. Like you got to do auctions on these. Forty bucks. Yes, absolutely. Look at that. Forty-five. Thirty-seven. I mean. Get oh, out of here. <laughs> I might have to buy a couple more. 37. Th- I mean, 31 in October. So, yeah, that's uh, that's old Greg's pick. Cool. How'd I do? Did I do it right? Yeah, I think uh, I, I, I'm <laughs> looking right now at getting a couple more, so I'd say yes. Awesome. So now we're getting back to my second pick. Do, 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 do. Now, again, I try to capitalize in when, you know, not when the book is high, but when that book has come back down after a show ends, especially after a show ends that fans were not happy with. Oh, I have an idea. Do you, do you? No, well, maybe you do, maybe you don't, but I bet you, you don't, you're not going to guess what this okay. one is when you see it. So on this one, my pick is for a 9.2. If you look at the last price of a 9.2, 109, 175, 179, 175. So it seems to be, let's just say 175 with a very low price for a 109. Okay. But then when you get to a 9.4, it really does jump up quite a bit. Uh, 200, 240, actually a 159. So either one, a 9.2, 9.4, because anything higher is going to get really expensive. Star Wars number two. Oh. First, non cover appearance 
of Obi Wan, and the reason they say it is because he appears on the on the on the cover of Star Wars number uh-huh. one, uh, but he has, does not appear in the book. Interesting. He, he actually becomes part of the story in uh, number two, and he's a little bit more prominent uh, on the cover of, of number two. But it's also the first appearance of the Millennium Falcon, first appearance of Chewbacca. Um, I think Greedo, but <laughs> it doesn't last too long. <laughs> Obi-Wan is still an iconic character, and if he makes any kind of appearance in Mandalorian, Ahsoka, uh, future Tales of the Jedi, if there's any kind of reboot or anything, which even if they have Obi-Wan season two and it gets better, even if they don't, this is still a 1977 Star Wars book. This is where it all began. Number one and number two. These are the two key ones. And fans... Yeah, a lot of people bought these books, expected this book to explode. And if you remember the prices, going back when they uh, in 2020, a 9.4 was 58 bucks, 100 bucks, 100 bucks, 72 bucks. Then it shot up. Here's 7.99. Oh my god, <laughs> that would hurt so much looking back yeah. at that now. I'm glad that wasn't the one. I, and I, uh, here's a 5.70. Um, four eighty five, four fifty five, four twenty five. These are the nine point fours, and now one ninety nine, one fifty nine. I personally have a seven point five, which I actually got this book and a Moon Knight number one <laughs> in a trade with my friend before he passed away, and those two books are staying in my collection. But I would love to grab a nine point two or even a nine point zero because I'm trying to get the first six books nine point zero or higher. I got number one. That's the key. That's the killer. Uh-huh. <laughs> Um, but the, I don't want to have 9.0, 9.2, 9.4, and in the middle of it, a 7.5. I want to have something yeah. a little closer. So this is my second pick is for 9.2 to 9.4, still keeping it relatively budget friendly, especially if you're using PayPal and you're going to pay it over four or finance it or something. <laughs> um, and get yourself a Star Wars number two. You're most likely looking for the, um, new stand edition. I don't think they even had a direct sale if you happen to get one that does not say reprint and it says 35 cents on it <laughs> uh good job send it to me because <laughs> there is a very rare 35 cent price version of this just like number one oh, there are more of them that's why number one is worth more but so that is my second pick for remember me uh my final pick for the youtube portion is going to be fantastic Four 185 the first appearance of oops scratch which is nicholas uh that oh that's a great one that is agatha Har- agatha's son yes who mm. um she, she do you remember agatha had a, a bunny rabbit in in wandavision senior senior scratchy scratchy that's right yes and in a cut scene i think the rabbit actually turned into a big demon <laughs> so Misa yes. Oh, don't do that because you're too good at it, and I hate. Ah. <laughs> that was pretty good. Huh? That was really good. Yeah. Uh, all right. Oh, he's got more news. Breaking news now. First appearance of Nicholas Scratch, a warlock and the son of Agatha Harkness. The yep. first full team appearance of the Witches of New Salem. Uh, speculation that the pet rabbit from one division named Scratch will turn out to be more than it seems in House of Darkness. And mm-hmm. uh, this past July... Harkness. House of Harkness. I'm sorry, yes. Uh, in this past July, the new subtitle, they changed it to Agatha Coven of Chaos. It could be inspired by the group of witches introduced in this issue, a.k.a. Witches of New Salem. And another first appearance, which people look at this saying... So you got a double threat here. Yeah. So even if Nicholas Scratch is not part of the show, it can still shoot up based on the fact that it could be the witches. Yeah. Ooh, very, Oops. very nice. Wrong, wrong tab. I was going to say, that didn't look like it. Yeah. Well, what kind of prices, what kind of grade are you recommending? So, that's I mean, not that's bad. not bad already, <laughs> just the top there. Uh, yeah. I, I wouldn't go 9.8. I think that's probably silly that's very expensive yeah uh, generally i if i could get a nine six for less than a half the price of a nine eight depending upon the census yeah. you know um 
that's where I shoot. So if like a nine eight is four hundred, I think the nine six should be two hundred. I hear you. Yeah. But if if the nine eight goes even higher and the nine six is lower, I'm shooting for the nine six. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So for example, uh, the latest nine six was October first, one hundred fifty six mm-hmm. bucks. Uh, one sixty, one eighty four. So they're kind of hovering around that. And these were in, these were all in twenty twenty two, but the previous October. October, you said, September, right? September and October, yeah. From September, October to now, books have dropped even more. Right. So, I would, I would go for a nine six if you can find it. Um, I, I agree. Good and, pick. Very good I mean, pick. It, look at it. And, well, from twenty twenty, so it's not really relevant anymore. But it doesn't seem to be a super popular book, so that might go work in its favor as well in terms of rarity. Well, I mean, you think about how many of the Fantastic Four scroll first appearances shot up every time somebody thought there might be a different scroll appearing in um, Secret uh, Secret Invasion. Yeah. It's like every it was like Scroll of the Week Club. Every every week it was a different <laughs> book shoot shooting up. Um, this one, you've got two characters for a show that we know is coming, and the, one, if not both, are like. And the show <laughs> was pushed was greenlit because of the fan. Um, reaction to her character and how she acted oh come on i bought the funko man i love Cancel exactly <laughs> so you know you know it's a popular property so and i was just noticing as i scrolled down here a 7.0 sold in september for 16 bucks i mean it's a 7.0 it, who cares this is 16... still a, what a 1982 book 77 77 oh wow okay it's even older than i thought sorry uh seven and a half 7.5 sold for 47 um an 8.5, 64 bucks. A 9.0, uh, $50. And we haven't even touched base with Agatha Harkness interacting with the Fantastic Four when they come out. Yeah. Could you imagine if when Fantastic Four hits the movies and they bring Agatha Harkness in with um, the Fantastic Four, if Nicholas Scratch is part of that? <laughs> That's going to blow up, man. I should have got mine out. I have it. That's the one where poor thing is blocked by the CGC label. <laughs> oh, the Fantastic Three. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah, man. I I think it's a solid pick because you know we're kind of in the very low valley between when One Division ended and now things are going to ramp up slowly as we get closer to yes. Harkness. Absolutely. Back to you. Okay, so if you are still watching this on YouTube and you want to find out what those other the next two picks are, picks are? Here's a uh, Disney uh, infringement. Uh, 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 uh. uh. Yep. If you want to know what the other two picks are, you're going to have to join us on Patreon. Otherwise, it's going to click to the end of the video. <laughs> so, yes, you didn't see the last two picks unless you're on Patreon. But you still can. And then go back. Absolutely, and watch it. it's available to you. Everything prior For, when you forever. Yeah. Watch along to the ability to vote on which books we read for Back Issue Book Club, and we're going to make it more and more fun on Patreon. Yeah, and I, I actually <laughs> uploaded a, a behind the scenes editing of a watch along video, sped up two hundred percent, and me narrating it what I was doing while I was mm-hmm. doing it. So, you know, one other thing that Patreon has about this video, they got to see it a couple of days ago. Because we're releasing it on Patreon before right. we're releasing it on YouTube. Yep. So not only do they get bonus picks, they get bonus Timed days. Timed exclusives. Yes. The one thing that you say you can't buy is time. Might you cost you $3. Ah, uh, so I'm going to wrap this up. And I had still have got to go read the Moon Knight Christmas special. Very good. And get ready for our back issue, back issue book club. And because, you know, it's a Christmas special for Christmas <laughs> as opposed to Easter. And then get ready to read next week, Iron Man and Submariner from 1968. Oh, man, we're going to have some fun. I'm loving oh, yeah, this. That was, I'm also- that was decided unanim- unanimously on our Patreon to be the next book as opposed to Giant Size X-Men 1. Now, I'll be honest. I would have actually preferred to read Giant Size X-Men number 1. Well, that can be another uh, suggestion for the, uh, the poll. Yep. Well, maybe we'll make more than two choices. Ooh. Let us know in the comments what, what, what uh, you want us to have on the poll. Yeah, exactly. And then if you want to vote on that poll, you know where yeah. to go. Patreon. Uh, what is our Patreon address, by the Patreon. way? Patreon.com slash Team Ohana. It's right here. 
Cool. <laughs> awesome. Guys, thanks for joining so much. We hope we gave you some information that makes you have some fun. And uh, remember, it's it's comics. Got to have some fun with it. Uh, increase your collection. Make you remember those books that you might have forgotten. If you didn't see something that you like this week, tune in next week. We'll be bringing you more. But until we see you in the next video, mahalo. <laughs>